I want to show you what I got. What do you think's inside? Please comment below. And you're gonna see it at the end of this video. We just landed in Paris. Surprise. Au revoir. Bonjour. Um, we had an incredible flight. It was actually very easy. It was eight and a, eight and a half hours. Yeah. And I slept. Just over eight hours. How much did I sleep? Seven hours, you think? Or like I mean, six and a half? Six hours. And I slept probably about five. Yeah, I watched it. I mean, we slept most of the flight but by like nothing. So I got six hours of sleep. I took my Valerian route. I watched this movie called Mother's Instinct while I was eating. I ate just the salad and a piece of bread because I was not into the vegan option that I ordered. And this movie that I watched was actually quite disturbing. It was with Anne Hathaway. And then I slept. Well, then I turned on Barbie because I was like, all right, I'll just give it to Barbie because I never watched it. Watched it for like 10 minutes and then I was like, I'm just going to go to sleep. That was the best decision I made. How did you sleep? I slept this is the wunderbar. Paris is decorated in all Audi signs. I saw a TikTok video the other day that said this girl posted that she was behind the Eiffel Tower and they had the Olympic uh, logo in the back and all these people were like, why is the Audi sign on the Eiffel Tower? So that's why I said, I was like, oh, there's so many Audi signs everywhere. Um, but the Olympics are on July 18th and Paris is all decorated in Olympic logos and signage and it's really really interesting to see and to be here i haven't been to paris in i don't know quite some time it's been some years probably like four or five years the last time i was here was so hot that i opted out of not going shopping with my mom can you believe that babe i actually stayed in the hotel i said i'm not gonna go shopping that's how hot it was so you know it was hot if i said i'm not going shopping because for me not to go shopping is <laughs> almost <laughs> exactly um and yeah, so I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to have a coffee and a croissant, just bite into a croissant. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that myself. And a baguette with butter. I'm eating all the carbs on vacation. Don't care. Carb loading. Carb loading, because when I come back, Pam's gonna kick my bootay. But Aloni said I'm not gonna gain any weight. Even though I'm gonna be eating pizza, pasta, all the carbs all day, every day for the next 12 days. So I'll let you guys know. So I will vlog, I will do a little hotel tour later and I will vlog us getting ready tonight for an event. We're actually here for two days for my friend's daughter's bat mitzvah, which we're really excited about. It's gonna be a plaza tini, which is gorgeous. Um, Just uh, that I'm very happy to be on this trip with you, my love. I'm always happy to be on any trip with you, my love. We just got to our hotel room at the Creon and you guys know we are a Rosewood family here so I want to show you guys the room tour because it's insane. The attention to detail here is just wow. This is the room when you walk in. It's first of all insane. It's like an apartment. Then look how gorgeous this is. They put our picture here and they said Paris is always a good idea. When you walk over here we have the living area. Here is some champagne and snacks you guys know the snacks are my favorite part then we have our little coffee station here the fresh hydrangeas and then this is my favorite you can go out here and have a cigarette i don't smoke cigarettes but gorgeous i think you can see the restaurant from here I'm definitely taking a picture right here. How are you liking the hotel? It's beautiful. It's really, really you should actually look down there. It's really gorgeous. Then we have the steps up here. Oh, you can sit out here? Yes. Cover. You can smoke a cigarette if you smoked one. But you don't. But the idea. Then they put a picture here of our little Liam bear. Then you walk here. This is the bed. And then they have all of our closets here. These closets are insane. I was telling Aloni I want a closet like this at home. They put all of our stuff. Then you walk into the bathroom. You guys, the Rosewood hotels are just the best. Bonjour. I'm so, so happy to be here. I, this is actually really cool. Oh my God, Aloni's gonna eat this up. He's gonna want one of these for the house. 
Babe, look at this. I bet you're gonna want one of these for the house. Aloni loves like stuff like this. This is just like for him. But I wanted to say is that I love Rosewood Hotels. The Creon's beautiful. You guys know we're a Carlisle family. Come look at this. This is so for you. I'm telling our YouTube family that these kinds of things are for you. Look, it's to squeeze the toothpaste. No way. Wow. I said that you love these kind of things. This is like so for you. See, See right here? I love like this kind of stuff. You can put your rings here. Yeah, I love attention to detail. It does. You have a shaving kit. Gorgeous. Anyway, right. guys, we will see you later. That's a beautiful club sandwich. I had a quick uh, avocado toast with some cappuccino because I have to go get ready. It's what? It's like an Asian dressing. Enjoy. Well, they, it has obviously probably here like Asian influence because they said that this butter had lemon and soy sauce in it. So we're behind the scenes here and <laughs> where are we, Bull? We are in London. Oh, look at you. Okay. Fake news? Paris, we are doing our makeup, having a bronzy look, smoky eye. We're gonna do hair after this. Such a nice touch that they did, huh? How are you feeling? I'm good, I'm not tired because I slept for six and a half hours and I'm on my second cup of coffee. Mm, drink some water too. Whole milk. Wavy situation or what? Yeah, but like a, with volume to the side, you know? Mm hmm. Very romantic. French. <laughs> the texture. Looks nice. Okay, guys, I'm ready to go. I want to show you my dress that I'm wearing. I'm wearing this dress from Magda Butram. It's so comfortable, it's a jersey. And I love it because it's still like black tie, but it doesn't have to have like sequin on it or anything like that. But it's kind of cold in um, Paris, it's 68 degrees. So I'm gonna wear a, just like an easy crop uh, blazer jacket. And that's it, I will link all this below if I could still find it. But this is the look. I was going for like a messy textured hair and the red lip, which honestly I'm loving. I got this on shop off because I didn't want to bring any expensive jewelry with me. And that's it. This is Liam's dad. I was telling everybody that you look like a hundred out of ten in a suit. You're too kind. James Bond. Thank you. You look really nice. Where where's your fit from? Uh, this is David August. Okay, and your shoes are Le Bouton. Shoes are Le Bouton, yeah, actually. Shocking, right? I know. Okay, well you look beautiful. Thank you, Melissa. So do you. Or handsome, sorry. I'll take you to one. look how cool we're staying at the creon and right across the street they're setting up literally here's the hotel they're setting up for the olympics how cool is that beautiful day it's actually chilly it's chilly 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 and i'm don't have a cardigan or a sweater with me. I should have brought my blazer, but I listened to Loni. <laughs> We're actually running to a very special appointment. What's the appointment, babe? Doctor checkup <laughs> at the at the main doctor headquarters of Hermes. So, do you guys think I'll get lucky? I don't know. Lenny says I'm a lucky girl, but we'll see. Well, 
look at all of this eye candy. We got something. We got a Himalayan. <laughs> what do you guys think we got? Dream, dream, dream. 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 Take a guess. We just got back from our Hermes appointment at the service store and I got something. I, if you saw in the clip before this, the store is so beautiful. Everyone is so nice. We didn't go to the Fabort store. Um, I didn't feel like we would have luck there. And it's, I feel like the store that everybody visits when they go to Paris and it just didn't feel like it was going to align energetically. So we went somewhere else. Um, the store is gorgeous. It's very big. The space is beautiful. It has these beautiful wooden structures in the middle, these like domes that have like the shoe collection in one section, then it has the home section in another. And on the second floor, they have a cafe and you can get coffee and some food. And then mm, there's fragrances and beauty. For me, I thought the store was bigger than the Madison Avenue store, which is where we tend to go to. But my husband pointed out that even though, yes, like Madison Avenue seems more narrow, the collections are much smaller here and the space is smaller just feels like because it it's all open so i guess i was wrong but anyway first things first is i did not have to buy anything else to get this bag because i had a leather appointment if i didn't have a leather appointment if i had just walked in um, without an appointment and bought other things i would have to build my relationship from scratch with a sales associate there in order to get something and maybe you can get lucky and get something that's not quota like a pochette in elan uh kelly to go something like that not promised um but we did have a leather appointment so we didn't have to buy anything and that's nice i wish we had the same concept in the united states maybe either at like the madison avenue store or um i don't know somewhere else probably would have to be new york because that's basically the flagship hub. I wish we had the same option to do a leather appointment, but I think because this is Paris, this is where Hermes is from, this is where the house is, I think that's why they allow this type of a system because that's really not common anywhere else except Paris. So let's do this together. Obviously by the size, you can guess that it's something bigger, right? I shot my shot because my husband always says, closed mouths never get fed. So when they asked me what I wanted, I panicked, always panic. I always black out because I'm like, you know, I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, I want this and this and this. And then you just panic. I don't know. It's like kind of when you go up and give a speech and people are, you know, you're ready. You've been practicing, you know, your speech. And then they're like, what's your name? And you're like, uh, Danielle, you know, happens all the time. I asked originally for something small. I wanted a skin or a croc. I wanted something special for two reasons. A. I wanted to get something special while we were in Paris, but I also wanted to get something that was a skin because it was going to be less expensive here than the United States. Plus you get your VAT back. So that is why that was my main focus. So I had asked for a croc or an ostrich or something in that realm, either in a pochette or a mini or a B25. B25 was like my last option. Um, but I wanted something small because I wanted it for evening and just for special occasions. And again, just to save on the price difference because the price difference comes out to quite a lot of money. But they said we don't have anything because they just had fashion week and they're like, we are completely bare. And they're completely bare because I noticed also there was like some shoes and clothes that I wanted. And they didn't have my sizes or my husband's sizes, which is good because we didn't end up having to spend money. But they literally barely had anything. So let me introduce to you this bag if you follow me on tiktok the last time i got a bag was my amazing husband surprised me for mother's day and i told you that i did not want to get any more palladium bags i meaning palladium hardware and i really wanted to get something with gold hardware however this is not what happened this time because the bags that they showed me or told me that they have the colors in um that i was interested in either came in cellier leather which i don't like as i mentioned prior because it has a very hard texture it's just not personal favorite of mine and they had gold hardware and other colors that i was not interested in and i didn't like so the color that i did like the most obviously today came with palladium hardware so i present to you my new beautiful bag Can you guys guess what it is by the size <laughs> anyway this color was very unexpected because i didn't this was not on my wish list but it's gorgeous, and this is not a color that Aloni thought I was gonna get, right, babe? No. 
because I'm very weird with these shades. You'll see in a second. So I present to you ah, a B25 in Cellier leather. This color is called Celeste. It's really hard to actually tell. Not Cellier leather, it's Swift. Sorry, Cellier. So I said Swift. You said Cellier. I did? Oh my God. <laughs> Guys. Swift. I'm just like blacking out. I'm like having a heart attack because the last time I saw it was in the store. Sorry. Oh my God. Swift leather. This color is called Celeste and this is palladium hardware. It's really hard to tell. It doesn't actually look at the screen. It doesn't even look like this in person, right? Mm, no. It's not reading correctly, but it is gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I usually don't like blues. I love the blue jean color, which I have in the dance, and I love blue broom, which is like a pastel baby blue color, which I love. And this color is gorgeous also. Like I don't like royal blues and certain other blues that have a lot of like lilac or purple, but this, I mean, this is such a summer bag. This is so perfect for Miami. And Very I'm cool color. so excited to wear it. I wanna know what you guys think. If you guys see that the Swift leather is very delicate, if you are in your MS journey and you don't have a bag yet, I probably don't suggest you to get us um, this type of leather in Swift because it is very delicate and it scratches very easily. And so I don't want you to get this and then be disappointed that it damages so easily. So this is great though. And for some people like me, I love when these bags do have a little bit of more wear and tear and have a little bit of like, the patina because it's kind of like I don't know makes it more interesting and unique it's kind of like those bags back in the day I remember when I was in college and I went to Parsons um, for fashion and Mary Kate and Ashley used to wear the really big B30s B35s B40s like the, the travel bags um, and they would wear them all like they were just damaged like the corners were damaged they were just all beat up and at the time it looked very cool it was very niche it was very vintage. It was just, it was just like very cool. And I feel like that trend is slowly coming back where a lot of people are searching for those vintage looking um, Kelly and Birkin bags that are very damaged. So the Swift is very, very delicate. Like I said, if you want something more structured, you should go with the Cellier or if you want something in between that is soft, but has a little bit of structure and a little bit of grain to it, you can go with Togo, which is also a personal favorite of mine. But this is the bag. I'm very excited. I actually did not bring a B25 with me. I actually didn't really bring, I only brought two bags with me. I didn't bring anything very crazy. I didn't bring jewelry. I didn't bring that stuff just because, I don't know, I didn't want to travel with that stuff to Europe. But now I have a B25 for my trip. A B25 I didn't know I needed. I love it. Tell me what you guys think. We just finished taking some pictures and we're getting ready to go to Gigi for the second day. This is Aloni's fit. I'm liking all, the all white. Thank it's like you. as if it's Labor Day weekend. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. So. But Aloni wears this t-shirt. He has them on like, I think two or three of this t-shirt and he wears this to work yeah, every day. I, yeah, you know, most of the same t-shirt. But you look really nice. Thank you, Melissa. So do you. Thank you. This is my dress. It's by Ukrainian designer. I forget how to pronounce her name correctly so i'm going to link it below if you guys want to check it out but i love like all the pearl details here my mom let me borrow her pearl earrings i did my makeup myself can't take credit for the hair and this is what we have going on the only reason i got my hair done today usually i don't do my like get my hair done unless like i want an updo but because i didn't bring hair styling tools because i was trying to fit into one suitcase so i can make my husband proud but anyway this is the look Aloni and i and theme i love when we match like yesterday we matched today we're matching he was trying to switch up the look, but I was like, nah. I'm gonna play that. Nah. <laughs> so. The night is over. We just got back to our room and I realized that they left us a happy 4th of July cake because we are in the United States. That was really nice of them. Papa's eating a fruit. The fruits here are all small. Have you noticed how small the fruits are in Europe? Mm -hmm. Non-GMO fruits. Can you check if it actually has a waxy cover? How? Oh. Take the knife and scrape the, the, the... No? Yeah. It does or doesn't? Mm-hmm. But yeah. is it wax or is it like the, the skin, the shkurka or whatever? It feels waxy. Yeah? It's good. 
Yeah. Okay, well, this is nice. Right? Anyway, that's all she wrote. We're out tomorrow. You just use your move. I always feel bad when people, when like they leave us champagne in hotels because I don't drink champagne either, does my husband. Um, I don't really drink any, that at all, but that's besides the point. I'm just saying it's a thought that counts. It is a thought that counts. Everyone's so sweet. The notes, everything here is just wow. Everything fantastic. Right? Yeah. <sighs> now we're going to get ready for bed. We have to get up tomorrow at 6 a.m. We have a wake up call because we are going to Ken and we are going to be there for the next four days. I kind of want to preserve my hair. I'm wondering if I can just sleep on it. What do you think, babe? I know. Okay, I'm going to go wash my face. I'll let you know about my hair tomorrow. Um, but I will see you at our next vlog in Ken. Baskets, my favorite, as always. Mm. Oh, they put oats on there? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Right? I thought you don't eat oats. I don't. Babe, can you tell everybody quickly? I know it's really early, but can you tell everybody why you started eating breakfast? Why I started eating breakfast? Yeah, because you never used to eat breakfast. Like, never. Since like last week. Never, ever. So why? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, because I was told that it's incredibly important to have breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Especially before. Especially before having coffee. Exactly. Uh, on an empty stomach, because it destroys your adrenals. And I drink a lot of coffee, so. So now he's a breakfast eater. So now I find myself eating breakfast at 6 a.m. 7, 7 a.m. Yeah. 6 a.m. Because he wants to down the coffee. Right. 